Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. My name is Jolie and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist from the PIG Lab. Now in this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of light. I've included this question in the handout which you can download for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get started. Ella had two cutout shapes A and B of different sizes as shown in the diagram and they are made of different materials. Now she then placed A in front of B as shown in the diagram below and she shines a torch in front of them. Now Ella then observed the following shadow on the screen and based on the observation above, which of the following materials could object A and B be most likely made of? So, looking at the shadow formed on the screen, we notice that there is a smaller shadow formed and a larger shadow formed. So we need to identify which object A or B formed the smaller shadow and which object A or B formed the larger shadow. So how do we identify whether is it A or B that formed the smaller or larger shadow? We can use the setup to help us. So what I would do is to take out a pen or a pencil and a ruler and draw how light travels in order for shadows to be formed. So in order to form a shadow, we know that light from the light source which travels in a straight line must be blocked by an object that is translucent or opaque. So in that case, if I want to form a shadow of A, light from the light source must have been able to travel just right above A in order to reach the screen and any portion highlighted in purple, this part over here, this is where light from the light source is blocked by A. So that is where we form the shadow of A. Now let's repeat the same thing for B. I'm going to use blue. Same thing, how do we determine the size of the shadow of B? Light from the light source would travel just above B. So I'll start from the middle of the light source in order to reach the screen. That means any portion over here that I'm highlighting in blue, this part is the part where light from the light source is blocked by B. So this portion over here depicts the shadow of B. So from this diagram, what can you tell me about the size of the shadow of A and B? We can tell that the shadow of A is actually much smaller than the shadow of B. That means object A actually forms the smaller shadow, whereas object B forms the larger shadow. Now, once this is clear, let's take a look at the observation that she actually saw on the screen. So we know that the smaller shadow, which is the one over here, okay, is actually formed by A. And what do we also notice about the shadow? We notice that the shadow, is it dark or is it faint? Object A actually forms a dark shadow. So I'll write this here. A dark shadow was formed. Now remember, shadows can only be formed when light from the light source is blocked by an object that is either opaque or translucent. So in this case, since we can see two shadows, it means that both object A and B cannot be transparent because if they were transparent, we should not see a shadow of A and B. We should not see two different shadows, okay? So over here, we need to determine whether is object A an opaque object or is object A a translucent object. So we know that object A forms a dark shadow. Now if a dark shadow is formed, it means that all the light from the light source is blocked. Now, immediately, what can you tell me about the transparency of A? If all light is blocked, it means that object A must be made of a opaque material. So I'll write this here. A is opaque. Now what if A was translucent? What kind of shadow should we see instead? If A was translucent, it means that only some light is blocked. That means it will form not a dark but a faint shadow. Okay, so let's take a look at the larger shadow now. Now for the larger shadow, what we can see is that this time the shadow is not dark but faint. So over here, object B forms a faint shadow. 
So as mentioned earlier, if a faint shadow is formed, what can you tell me about the transparency of B? Is it opaque or is it translucent? B must be translucent. Why translucent? Because translucent objects allow some light to pass through and also block some light. So since some light is blocked, what you will see on the screen is actually a faint shadow. So we can conclude that B is translucent. So over here, object A, I'm looking for an opaque material. For object B, I'm looking for a translucent material. So let's take a look at our options. For option 1 for A, tracing paper. Nope, tracing paper is translucent. What about number 2, frosted glass? Frosted glass is also translucent. Option 3, clear coloured plastic. That is also translucent. That is wrong. And the last one, wood. Wood is N opaque material. Okay, finally, double check. For object B, we're looking for a translucent material. It cannot be wood, it cannot be cardboard, it cannot be steel sheet because these three are opaque. And finally, we have tissue paper which is translucent. That must be the correct answer, number four. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos we have made, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!